Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today we are going to start VMware Horizon View training and uh, this is the first video in this series so um, in this video we are going to discuss about the technical overview of Horizon View and what all the products which are available in the Horizon View suit and how, how all the pro uh, products can combine and deliver the application on desktop or RDS solution to the end user or uh, end user devices like uh, mobile devices or a laptop or desktop anything so we are going to do the take the introduction and then uh, we are also going to cover the some technical overview um, about the VMware horizon view so <coughs> let's get started so uh, the first thing we, uh, we must need, need to know about the uh, VMware view um, version release history so the current version which you can see the latest version which is released by us uh, September 6 2018 is VMware Horizon 7.6 and you can see uh, VMware um, um, uh, uh, generally is going to release uh, many updates for this uh, VMware Horizon product on on a month uh, on frequently basis so you can see for the 7 VMware view 7 we have a multiple version for 6 also we have multiple version and 5 all before uh, that also so VMware it's totally focused on this VMware view to uh, Horizon view to uh, get uh, get more stable and um, more user friendly with the uh, users and also it's going to uh, VMware is working on um, providing some solutions like a cloud-based solution for VMware clients and Horizon View. So this is uh, we have a lit um, many updates from VMware uh, of about the VMware Horizon View and these clients. So the latest version which we have is uh, till uh, today uh, I'm recording before recording this session which is VMware Horizon View 6.7 7.6 sep September 6 2018 so this all about the history of the VMware release history about the VMware view so next and you can see the view type Horizon view type so basically VMware provides three type of um, licensing or licensing type for VMware Horizon View. So the first thing is Horizon Standard, which is going to give you the simple, powerful VDI and great user experience. So uh, Horizon Standard is going to give you the VDI, uh, uh, basically VDI solutions, which is going to uh, give you the great experience for the uh, your end user to have a virtual desktop in infrastructure so this is a uh, horizon standard and that once you are going to have a, a performance desktop application for physical and virtual machines so if you go to a horizon advance you have uh, options to uh, deliver your applications desktop or physical or uh, maybe applications is running on a physical or virtual machine you can deliver both so it's going to give you option to uh, uh, publish the full desktop for your end users or also you can publish some uh, particular application which is installed on physical or virtual machine you can publish those application to your end users also so this is horizon advance and then we have a horizon enterprise this is the highest level automation and management for private cloud delivery so this is something where you can basically um, integrate all your environment and going to have a, your basically a private cloud which is running on VMware infrastructure and going to give you um, a desktop and application as a service so this is something you can create a, a private cloud um, by using the uh, VMware products and you can deliver the application or desktop by doing the automation and management all the packages once uh, at once so this is our horizon enterprise so we have uh, here you can see we have few uh, main components which is related to horizon 7 so these all components is very critical whenever we are going to understand horizon view these all components are critical and these are the core component of horizon view so the first thing you can see the horizon connection server so this is something like a 
uh, your management appoint or something which is going to manage your uh, are going to give you the access to your horizon view infrastructure and from this console uh, horizon con uh, connection server console you can manage all your infrastructure so you can see the authenticates user this is going to do connection manager broker connection to resources like resources you can say the desktop or application which is published in uh, horizon view it's going to give you the broker connection and admin admin console also for configuration and monitoring as I said the con um, connection server is going to be your admin console providing your admin console from there you can manage the uh, uh, your connection uh, your horizon view configurations and also you can see the monitoring and enable the monitoring if you configure the database and everything and additionally run the instant clone engine so it's going to also run the instant clone engine so uh, this is connection server and then we have a unified access gateway so this is something um, which is going to give you access if someone is coming from public network or outside of your uh, internal network it's uh, some uh, some someone is accessing your resource from outside uh, of your LAN or uh, uh, the connection is coming from externally so uh, secure gateway provide edge services means some uh, basically the uh, providing the uh, communication between internal and external traffic and going to handle that and provide external and source access to desktop and apps so as I said it's going to uh, maintain your security level and going to give you access some if someone is coming from outside and uh, b before it's known as the access point so uh, this is the new name naming convention which is provided by VMware which is called VMware unified access gateway now and this is composer server uh, if you compose a server this is optional component if you require to use a linked clone creation then you can uh, you need this um, a VMware a Veeam uh, view composer server which is going to as I said this is an optional component when for using link on creation only so we are going to discuss all these in details how we can create and install and uh, configure these things so and also you require uh, MS SQL or uh, Oracle database to configure this composer server so whenever you are going to install a composer server you must need a one SQL database or uh, Oracle database to get this, uh, this composer server installed then we have uh, these two components Horizon agent and Horizon client we need to make sure what is different so this is something Horizon agent is something which you need to install on virtual desktop or RDSH means remote desktop server host uh, session host server so this is going to provide you connectivity to the uh, desktop or application so this is uh, this is something which you need to install on the desktop or uh, servers which you are going to deliver to the your customer your end user or customers like if you you having a remote desktop services installed you need to install a Horizon agent if you want to deliver some application which is installed on that server to deliver to your client and so this is the delivery remote experience services so this is going to deliver your remote experience services so whatever application is installed or virtual desktop it's going to deliver by using Horizon agent so this is must required to be installed on watch VDI desktop or master image or the remote desktop services uh, session servers and Horizon client is installed on end user devices like a laptop desktop or a iPhone a mobile phone anything so it's going to install on your end user devices and provide connection to Horizon environment so this client is going to communicate with this infrastructure and going to access the resources which is uh, published on Horizon 7 or Horizon View and available for majority of uh, popular devices OS oh yeah, so it's um, available for Linux so it's available for your Windows and um, Mac OS and it's available for also for other like um, iOS uh, operating systems and Android everything so 
uh, this is all about also we have HTML client option allow browser only access so so if you have a like a client which is going to uh, access the horizon view and uh, view by using the browser interface also you can install this and the customer and user can access the all the resources on browser also so this is all horizon 7 components and next we have uh, some uh, some basically in, uh, instance you can say which um, uh, 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 you need to make sure when you are working with a horizon view so um, which you can must need to be friendly with these things so the first thing you can say the desktop pool so desktop pool you can say automated pool for desktop so it's it's set of uh, like uh, some some group of computers or VDIs or virtual machines which is going to be sh um, um, uh, like um, grouped together in a pool so this is something like a desktop pool so there was two type of desktop pool and floating and dedicated assignment so floating is whenever the user is going to uh, log into the desktop pool they are going to access the next few available um, like um, next available uh, desktop or VDI and dedicated means you have a uh, reserve your machine uh, uh, for in uh, horizon view so whenever you are going to log in you are going to get your dedicated virtual machine and floating means you are going to get a uh, uh, next available virtual machine basically so this is desktop pool is based on basically instant clone link clone or full clones so in desktop pool you have all the options where you can use instant clone link clone or full clones and uh, clone from a common master VM image so this this is going uh, this is going to use uh, your master uh, 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 copies of your virtual machine to create the desktop pool and that can be used instant or uh, linked or full clone and then we have a RDS farm and application pooling so this is something where you automated farms made up for RDS H servers so this is something like session host servers uh, this is going to be automated and based on uh, this is also based on instant clone link or on or full clone so this can be uh, um, anything Mm, perspective to clone and stent link or full this is also going to be come from your master image and also this is going to uh, the RDS farm or application pool is going to deliver publish application and share desktop services so like uh, you can publish your uh, session host server where uh, multiple users can log into the same session host server and on a same time or also you can configure um, the desktop publishing so then we have a instant clone so you can see mm, we are going to uh, uh, do detailed lab on these instant clone and link clone so you, for now you can see it's a uh, rapid uh, provisioning means it's going to uh, provision instant and this is not going to require any reboot and if you are going to create a link clone it's require a reboot so this is something which you need to make sure when you are planning to do the um, like desktop or RDS pulling which type of uh, clone you want to use instant on link so both having some extra features like you can see this is instant clone is going to be as name it's going to be super fast it's going to rapid uh, provision and it's no not require reboot and fast copy on memory or uh, and link disk and same this is link clone you can see a uh, clone from a replica disk require a reboot so this is something uh, you need to make sure during uh, during your decision what type of clone you want to use for your production then we have some compatibility and requirement to install these connection brokers gateway or composer server you can see here so server it can support uh, connection broke server can support 2016 20, uh, 12 r2 and these also like windows server 2008 r2 service pack 1 and it's required 
12 gig of memory and resource 4 v vcpu database does not require for connection broker and same we have uh, this is going to be your gateway is going to be a basically uh, appliance which is based on linux so it's it's like a virtual machine you can import uh, in your vcenter or any hypervisor and run from there so it's required 4 gig of memory and 2 cpu and no database required if you want to this is composer server which is uh, which we have already discussed this is an optional part if you want to install a composer server you require as first thing you require a SQL database or Oracle database so it can support 2012 service pack 2 or 14 and all this and also you, you require you can use the server which can be 2016 2012 r2 or 20 uh, 2008 r2 service pack 1 and this is memory and versions what what this can support for uh, vcenter and vspare it can support anything which is going to come under uh, 5.0 update 1 to 6.5 and if you want to use instant clone technology require 6.0 and you want update or higher so this is something which you need to make sure when you are d um, uh, doing the consideration for compatibility and requirement check for setting up the VMware horizon views or uh, infrastructure and then we have a uh, uh, basically there are two types of uh, publishing in Horizon 7 the first thing you can publish your um, application and second you can publish on your desktop so we have delivery uh, a desktop as a service and then we have uh, publish application with the Horizon view so you can see here the user which we have it's based on HTML or remote um, remoting protocol and we have a client then it's going to access the RDS, RDSH clone means which is going to be a remote desktop chess and host server you can see from here windows OS like uh, we have 20, uh, 2012 R2 and then we have install applications then we have a core application and which is published and then user can access these application and then we have also some advanced feature uh, which is app publishing profile farm all these things and these all infrastructure is going to be run on vspa uh, vspare and then we have environment active directory dns dhcp group policy certificate everything in place so this which we can use the delivering application by using the remote desktop session host servers and next we have a desktop service publishing so in this you can see we have a um, uh, we have active directory DNS DHCP group policy and certificate which is same environment and then we have uh, apps with these all are uh, extra features which we can use as per our requirement like uh, we can enable the app management profile management and this all pool and all these things so you can see we have a master image here and by using the master image it's going to create instant clone and then the instant clone is going to uh, be accessed by HTML or remote uh, remoting protocol by end users so this is uh, some introduction uh, uh, where I try to cover few uh, few things which is basic uh, details about the horizon view to understand how we are going to do this training and in the next video I'm going to give you the demo about the what we have in lab setup and what all the lab setup you require for uh, doing the Harrison view training so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye